Rocky Patel, Old World Reserve Karoho. Hey, Brian and Bukin, this is Cigar Vlog. And yes, I had to take a couple times to figure out how to actually pronounce that without turning over my own tongue. <sighs> so, <laughs> anyway, this is a uh, rather offshoot line from Rocky Patel that I really didn't know too much about until I got it in as part of a sampler pack. Thank you for focusing on my cigar instead of the ground behind you. Will you please cooperate? Focus. What the, thank you. All right. Never fails. I always come out here and have to fight with my camera. All right. So Rocky Patel is known for making seriously excellent cigars. But I've kind of noticed that for my taste, Rocky tends to blend a little on the strong side. So... Basic advice for this is drink a soda or have something to eat before smoking one of these or pretty much anything from Rocky Patel. Otherwise, you could get um, rather upset, uh, shall we say. It'll leave you praying to porcelain, basically. <laughs> At least it does for me. You may have a higher tolerance to nicotine than I do, but as I said, Rocky tends to blend a little on the strong side. Flavors are always good. Just gotta watch out for the intensity. Because they can be a little over the top. All right, let go of the tree branch, thank you. All right, right off the bat, not a whole lot to write home about. It's good, clean nicotine. Not nicotine. Good, clean tobacco. Excuse me, whilst I fumble with my camera. Okay, good, clean tobacco. A slight sweetness in the aroma. Subtle earthiness. No spice. Pretty good. All right, let's smoke this down at the first inch and let's see if it wakes up. All right, so, uh, that was like a little further out of the tunnel to avoid the echo. Anyway, <laughs> about an inch in. Flavors are kind of uh, sweet and creamy, truth be told. Subtle, which in this case is not particularly a bad thing because they are kind of building. Slight cedary notes. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. This is one of those uh, symphony cigars that has a lot of different flavors going on, but they're kind of subtle and muted, so you kind of have to really, really hunt to figure out individual flavors that you're trying to pick out. A little cedar, a little earthy, a little sweet, a little creamy. Not bad. Well, so far, it's proven to be a pretty mellow cigar. So I'm going to smoke this down to the halfway point, and hopefully it'll be a little less mellow. But, uh, overall, good. Definitely something that uh, is good for a hot afternoon. But uh, I'm going to hold off on getting too in-depth on recommendations until I've had a little bit more of it. So far, it's going pretty good. So, typically, I don't like subtle, but in this case, it's actually working out pretty good. All right, so I'm going to smoke this down to the halfway point and update from there. Okay, right about the halfway point. Flavors have been uh, a bit of a mix. There's a little bit of earthiness, good clean tobacco, slightly creamy, slightly sweet, very subtly sweet. Uh, nice kind of uh, creamy breadiness kind of thing. Kind of, kind of almost like a graham cracker thing going on in the retro hill. It is a gross provide, my nose isn't lying to me. There's definitely a prominent earthy note. It's kind of on the back end of the actual flavor palette. Overall, I'd say the flavor profile of this is classic cigar. As in, it's good clean tobacco. It's got a couple of subtle notes to it that you'd be able to pick out if you're paying attention. But overall, nothing's really standing out and grabbing your attention. That's fine, because uh, you know there are cigars that do that, and they taste good. It's just they're not very distinct. And this is one of those cigars that's not very distinct, 
but it is good. Drink recommendations, I'd say it would be just classic whiskey. Or coffee. And here comes the cyclist. Never fails. If it's a nice day, everybody and their brothers, uncle, second cousin, twice removed, is out here riding a bike, walking the dog, taking their kids out, trying to get them away from, you know, whatever they're having to be doing. Just to be annoying. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so far, not exactly the most uh, standout cigar that I've had in a while. But there's something about it. When you get the little waft of the aroma coming off the foot. That's just that classic, you walk into a cigar lounge and that's what you smell. It's warm, it's inviting, and it just invites you in to take a puff. Definitely a good cigar, just uh, not really grabbing your attention, you know? Because like something like, say, the uh, Drew Estate cigars, those will have a flavor that will be prominent and will grab you and will definitely grab your attention. This one's a little subtler, more subtle than that. Definitely a good one to relax with because you sit back, you smell it, and you're good. You got that nice, inviting cigar aroma. Overall, though, if you're looking for something a little heavier in flavors, this is probably going to be a little on the light end. Well, anyway, I'm going to smoke this down in the nub. You have a final update from there. And, uh, yeah. See if it uh, wakes up a little bit. So far, it's not like, it's not necessarily asleep, but uh, it could definitely stand to be a little more whiz bang, you know. At least that's just my personal take on it. And we looked at it up. All right, I figured this is about as uh, close to nub as I, can, uh, as I can get without burning my fingers. So far, flavor has been pretty consistent. There is a pronounced earthiness, a subtle sweetness good clean tobacco, and occasional hits of a black pepper spice. Not to mention, the, just the aroma is wonderful. It really is. It just, it's that classic cigar lounge, just cigar smell. Retro Hale is getting progressively earthier, but overall it has a rather, I want to say creamy texture to it, which is kind of nice. Main takeaway from this is if you like very, very earthy cigars, this is going to be right up your alley. If you're one of those guys that likes to spend your weekend in the garden, then yeah, by all means, kick back with, like, say, a young scotch and just take in the last rays of the sun. But other than that, me personally, I probably would not be inclined to buy these again just because it's not really a flavor profile that I look for. I don't particularly care for extremely earthy cigars, and this is a very earthy one. My, my flavor preference tends to be more on the coffee cocoa side, as opposed to earthy leathery. That said, if you like walking into a leather store and uh, just taking a big whiff of you know just all that you know leather smell, if you like just standing in the garden and just taking in all the aromas of nature around you, this would be right up your alley. Drink preferences, I'm going to say lighter bourbons, young scotch, things like that. I don't know if I'd necessarily pair a beer with it, but uh, overall, definitely not a bad cigar. If it seems like I'm kind of, you know, poo-pooing it a little bit, I'm really not. It's just, it's not my particular preference. It is still a good cigar, though. So if you like earthy cigars, definitely pick up a box. If you're more on the coffee cocoa side, you might want to skip them. And I'm hoping that about a half hour after I finish this completely, I'm not going to be, you know, feeling queasy because, like I said, Rocky tends to blend a little strong. Other than that, that's pretty much all I've got. Nice, earthy, very, uh, I want to say rustic flavored profile. Other than that, that's pretty much all I got. Very consistent all the way through, which is nice. But other than that, not much to write home about. Well, anyway, that's pretty much it for this. If you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've had one of these. Let me know if your experience was different than mine. Also, feel free to stop by my Twitch stream, midnight to 2 a.m. Sundays and Wednesdays. If you can't make it, it is stored for about a week. 
So you can always watch the uh, re the uh, recording of it. And watch me fuck my outro on that. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. Until then, I'll see you next time. Well, that didn't make sense. Anyway, I'll see you next time. <laughs>